Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise Yah, everybody. Praise Yah another time. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Okay, brothers and sisters, I just want to come with a prophecy that has literally come to pass. And I hope that brothers and sisters have been paying attention to the prophecies that I'm giving. Because I know that the prophecies on this channel, everyone that I've given, they will come to pass. They will come to pass, brothers and sisters. So be aware of what's going on. Amen. Be aware of what's going on, brothers and sisters. Because this is going to happen and this is going to come to pass. I think it's a month ago, if I'm not mistaken, but I will leave the video pinned and link in the description box, okay? I'll leave the video pinned and link in the description box, but I think it's a month ago, brothers and sisters, I gave a prophecy, and I said that the wicked pharaohs, or we're talking about the UK, Babylon UK, that the wicked pharaohs are gonna say that the water, the tap water is contaminated. Because you see, this thing is all adding to the economy. It's, it's all about crashing the economy. That is what this one is, literally. And I gave the prophecy and I said that, that the, the wicked Pharaoh, they're going to come out and they're going to tell people that oh, do not drink the tap water, it is contaminated. Well, brothers and sisters today in the papers, it is, sorry, Sorry about that. A little notice came up. Today in the papers, brothers and sisters, the government is warning the wicked pharaohs. All right, we want to use that word G, the G word. The wicked pharaohs are warning that the water in Britain is contaminated. <laughs> Hallelujah. My God, Father God of creation. I really hope people are, are paying attention. I really, really do. They now come out and say that the water is contaminated and that you should not drink the water. That they're encouraging you that if, you, that if you're going to drink the tap water, you should boil it first. Why? Because there's a massive growth of E. coli. E. coli found in our tap water. Mm. E. coli in our tap water. How did it get there, brothers and sisters? How did E. coli get in our water? The, the, the prophecy is true. The prophecy, brothers and sisters, is true. What the Lord showed me that the pharaohs are going to contaminate the water. They're going to come and they're going to tell the people that the water is contaminated. This is one of a lot of con contamination with the water that is going to go on. Well, it starts in Britain, but it's going to trickle towards everywhere, brothers and sisters. It really, 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 it is going to trickle. If only people understand, if only some people understand how desperately wicked let me say that again how desperately wicked these pharaohs are you would know what time it is these pharaohs are not for you they're dealing with dehumanization that is all that one is brothers and sisters because they think too many people are on the planet that is it they just think that in their little mind they just think that there's too much people on god's planet as if they can create human beings and so they want to dehumanize as much people as they can when i say dehumanize i mean get rid of okay humans as much human as they can brothers and sisters and they will do it by any means anyhow anyways but it is official. They're now saying that the water is contaminated in the UK. And they're urging people not to drink it. It's breaking news. 
breaking news, brothers and sisters. But the, the prophet, but we, I said we, <laughs> us on this channel, we knew this prophecy from months before this came out. We knew it. Why? Because the Most High, yeah, nothing on this earth is done um, before the Lord reveals it to his people. So on this channel, we're not surprised. We're not, oh my days, whoa, well, whoa. Well. No, we're not. Because we know that the, the, the prophecies is true. And it's happening. But equally, um, but the Lord is saying this is just one of many contamination with the water. This is just one. There are going to be more brothers and sisters. The wicked pharaohs are going to come out and they're going to, they're going to talk about more contamination with the water. We have to wake up. We have to understand. We got to understand what time it is. We must understand that we are in the end times. We are literally heading towards the ending of days, the end of days, where Jesus Christ of Nazareth says, Behold, I am with you even until the end of this age. So we know that this dispensation, we know that this current age that we're living in, this it's going to end. It will end, brothers and sisters. And it's either going to end with you going to heaven or hell. That's just going to be it. That is the only choice. It's either making it into the kingdom of heaven with our beautiful Lord and Savior, the biblical Jesus Christ and the wonderful saints and angels or going to hell with Satan and his angels with the lake of fire and all the wicked. You don't want to go there. Nothing in this world is worth your heart to go to hell. Nothing. Think about it. Nothing. There's nothing in this world, brothers and sisters, that is worth your salvation. It's not worth it. The prophecy is true. And I say this again, whenever prophecy comes true on this channel, brothers and sisters, I say this again with all humbleness. If the water prophecy that Yah has given to me, saying that the water, that the wicked Pharaoh is going to come and say that the water is contaminated, which they have done. So the prophecy is true. Don't you think that the Turners, a.k.a. the Sleepers prophecy is going to come to pass? Anybody who doubts, listen to me. Anyone who doubts that, oh, this, you know, she's just a conspiracy theory. The Sleepers event, a.k.a. the Turners event, you know, it's not going to happen. You are living in cuckoo land. You're not ready for end time prophecies because the Turner's event is next on the list, on the wicked Pharaoh's list. It's going to happen. You're going to see it in front of your eyes. This is a prophecy that's going to come to pass, the Turner's event. And the good thing about the Turner's event is that I've been warning from, for the good part of well, I've upped the warning for the good part of six, seven, eight months, something like that, maybe nine months. I've really been warning about the Turner's event that look, some people will turn. Sorry, brothers and sisters, nose a bit itchy. Some people will turn right in front of your eyes. I've just given a, 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 a um, um, an incident with my brother and his co-worker who have taken the anti you know what you know the aka the the, the eating the pudding and he is not is not doing well you need to watch that video i'm going to leave it pinned so the turner's apocalypse the sleepers apocalypse it is real and this is going to happen. And if you dare think in your mind that this is not going to happen, when it happens, you've got nobody to blame because you've got a lot of time. You've had a lot of time to prepare, especially if you watch this channel. Especially if you watch this channel, because you know the things that I prophesy, that I declare, thus say the Lord. And those who have eaten a slice of the E.T. pudding, Listen, people have to begin to pray. People must begin to pray and repent and ask God to 
to shield them. But there's a, a powerful vision that I want to give, not vision, revelation that, that the Lord has given to me concerning the Turners, the powerful. So I'm going to do that. All right. Yes. So contamination of water. Britain, you got to boil your water. The prophecy is true. I will leave it again link in the description box if you haven't seen that prophecy where I prophesy that the pharaohs are going to come out and say the water is going to be contaminated it's all part of their plans brothers and sisters so be bold be strong be courageous walk with yah just like enoch all praises all beautiful praises to the most high yah who lives above the heavens yah eternally bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in jesus christ precious holy name amen and amen let's say the benediction together um, Jude chapter 1 verses 24 to 25 the Bible reads now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever amen and amen amen blessings amen hallelujah hallelujah praise Yah. Praise Yah, everybody, one more time. Amen and amen. This is your sister, Carrie Ann, in Jesus Christ. Okay, brothers and sisters, this is um, breaking in the UK. And I have to come back and just refresh those of you who may have, I said may, who may have forgotten the video that I did when I uh, prophesied and say that they're going to put stuff in the water in the uk babylon uk i will leave that video link it is when in the time three weeks ago no two months ago when i did that video concerning water shortage and i went back and i did another video because the lord showed me in the room of the spirit though i did a video in 2016 where i had a vision where i saw these people in the uk putting stuff in the water and the water became contaminated. Now, there's breaking news that the pharaohs of the United Kingdom, brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm going to try to break this down, what the Holy Spirit showed me, okay? Um, concerning what's going on. The wicked pharaohs in the United Kingdom are now proposing, they are now proposing to put fluoride good amount not a tiny bit because apparently apparently in water naturally if it's natural naturally there's fluoride in the water just a tiny bit can't do anything it's naturally there that's what they say but i need to research and just double check but they said tiny bit won't even do you a nothing at all it is in the water but now the wicked Pharaoh, watch this, wants to put enough fluoride in the water to stop tooth decay. Mm. Oh, well, you know, we, we have a crisis on our hands. That's what they say. We have a crisis on our hands, uh, especially with children. Too many kids in the UK have tooth decay. So we have to, it's a public health issue. So we've got to put fluoride in the water to help prevent tooth decay. Stop a pain. Just let's think about this logically. Number one, some people don't drink water. Okay. So for those people who don't drink water, hardly drink. They might drink, but maybe once in a blue moon. They don't fool around water. So those people will be okay, so to speak. <clears throat> Number two, tooth decay. Your kids' tooth decay, or if you're an adult and you've got decayed tooth, whose responsibility it is to look after one's teeth? If you're a child, it is the parents. It is the parents' responsibility to make sure, okay, they don't give the children too many sweeties, make sure that they brush their teeth uh, morning and night, to keep a healthy hygiene. So that's the parents' responsibility for the children. When you are an adult, that is your responsibility. 
as an adult to make sure that you've got good oral hygiene that is not the government so for the wicked evil i don't know what to call them i was going to call them a word but i hold back for the wicked evil fallen angel because that's what they are in disguise fallen angel pharaohs pretending to be pharaohs but the fallen angels really okay coming out and declaring that they're going to put fluoride to stop tooth, tooth decay brothers and sisters do you understand the amount of fluoride they're going to put in the water the vision doesn't lie i know some of you have me as a false prophetess and i'm this and i'm that that is okay the vision don't lie please watch it i'm going to leave it pinned i will leave it pinned in the comment section and the description box the vision that the most high yeah gave me concerning the uk contaminating the water this is it brothers and sisters dentist tells us that we're not supposed to swallow toothpaste because of the fluoride in it because too much is toxic you're going to put that in water you're you're calling for cancer but that's okay that's what they want it's all a plan it's all a plan brothers and sisters so you know that they put this in the water cancer cancer will be on the rise yeah because this thing is toxic i don't care what they want to say and said oh no it's it, it is fine no hell no you're falling angel you will say anything because you're wicked all right but the proposal is for them to put fluoride in the water poison that's contamination that too much fluoride contaminating the water the vision is truth the vision is real the vision is true it is coming to pass why is it that they want to put fluoride in the water forget about the tooth decay because that's rubbish because i've just debunked that i've just debunked it saying that parents look after your kids adults just have good oral hygiene all right so i've just debunked that they don't have to put fluoride in the water to stop to the k no this is cancer this is a campaign to increase the amount of cancer that the united kingdom already have why is that you may say you might say oh, sister karen but why why do you think they want cancer well, you've got to understand, brothers and sisters, I've spoken about the wicked device. The more sick people you have, when the mark of the beast comes out, the more um, showcase or show off, <laughs> whatever it's want to call, for people to get the mark. So for a lot of people, so for instance, 100 people, 70 out of the 100 got cancer. Right? And they're saying the wicked Ferris in all the, the, the you know the 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 three sixes which are called the mot be mot be mean mark of the beast. So if the wicked Ferris is gonna say the mark of the beast, they're not gonna call it that. It's very interesting what they're gonna call it. I haven't thought about that. The name that the wicked pharaohs are going to use. Because we know it as the mot be, we know it as the mark of the beast, the church. But I don't think the wicked pharaohs are going to call it that. They're going to have a name. They're going to have a name. So we'll see. Maybe RFID chip or something like that. But they're going to have some form of name in a way. But anyways, brothers and sisters. So what they want to do for the... Because remember, they're pushing the, they're pushing the agenda for the Mott B. Because they know that once people take the mark of the beast, that's it. They're done for. They're going to hell. No coming back. So the more people they can have to take this thing through lying lying signs and wonder wonders okay i beg your pardon brothers and sisters through lying signs and wonder is the more people are going to run one for it so you've got 100 people 70 people out of the 100 has got cancer 20 people out of that 70 takes the must be miracle i'm cured you see what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? Miracle, no more cancer. Then the rest of the people, the 40, are going to run for it. Now, that's the reason why the, 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 the poison in the water. 
because they want people to be sick. Because the more people in the world, the more people in the UK sick, they are more likely to take the mark of the beast, the mock bee. Because when they see, when they look and see, oh, so and so had cancer, but no, the cancer is gone. They've taken the, 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 the wicked device, the tiny rice grain, and that's filtered out the wicked cancer cells. That's what they're going to say. The, the cancer cells are filtered out. So you don't need chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. Wicked miracle signs and wonder. Revelation 8. Revelation 13 verse 10. I'm going to do a, a prophetic video on that. So that's your wicked miracle signs and wonder. Apart from the wicked Pope that's going to come with his miracle signs and wonder. All right. So this is the reason why it's all an agenda. Get as much people sick as you can. Then when the mark of the, when the mutt B comes out and we tell them that it's going to filter out cancer and make you better, majority of the people who are sick in the UK are going to run for this thing. Because if you don't have any sick people, people are not going to take it. They're going to refuse it just like the you know what. Just like the you know what that's going on and people are putting up a little fight against it. If people are not sick, they're not going to want to cleave to the mutt B. Because if the wicked pharaohs are coming on and saying, oh, well, you know, if you got, you, you're a healthy person, right? I'm just saying, you're a healthy person, fit and healthy, no sickness, no diseases, you're doing well. Well, you're not going to likely to go for the mutt B. But there's many ways they're going to use the mutt B. They're going to go through the sickness route and they're going to go through the money route where they're going to crush the economy and bring in the digital so they've got it planned and they know what they're doing brothers and sisters but this is all to do with the mark of the beast that is coming and to get as many people to take it as they can and they will because those people whose name is not written in the lamb's book of life will take the mark of the beast they will so when you see your loved ones your family your friends go for the three sixes the mutt be you don't know that their name was never ever written in the Lamb's Book of Life. It wasn't there. The, yeah, it wasn't there, brothers and sisters. So, it is coming. That's all it is. That, that, that is all this one is, brothers and sisters. It's a trickery. But the vision is true. The Lord showed me that in the UK they're going to poison the water. And this is it. But they're telling you what they're telling you what they're doing. So we have to pray. The church need to begin to put the church need to begin to cry out to Yah. I did a video about cry out. We have to cry out about this. When the wicked comes up against us, we have to cry out. The first point of con, um, con, the first point of contact is crying out to Yah. We have to cry out to the Most High Yah for Him to work it out for us. But those of us in Christ will be okay. But that is what the Lord told me in the realm of the spirit. That's the reason why they're doing it. It's nothing to do with tooth decay. It's just a wash. Nothing to do with tooth decay. It is to get as many people sick. Because putting a lot of fluoride in the water will, will cause cancer. It will, it will damage the human system because it's contaminated. It's poison, isn't it? So we are one step ahead of wicked Satan. And his cronies, all right? So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with the Yah. Just like Enoch, all praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High Yah, who lives above the heavens. Yah eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In Jesus Christ, precious holy name, amen and amen. Let us say the benediction together. It's Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.